We're at grade 7 math, 9.3c, and this is the area of odd-shaped composite figures. A composite figure is made up of two or more simple figures like triangles, quadrilaterals, or semicircles. And to find the area of a composite figure, we divide it up into simple, non-overlapping figures. We find the area of each simple figure and total them for the area of the entire composite figure. And drawing lines to separate the figures can help us. So we look carefully at each composite figure before dividing it. Now sometimes we're going to need to find a total area and subtract a figure to get the total area for a composite figure. So let me show you. We're going to work with this figure, and we're going to work with this figure. Okay? We're going to find the area of them. You have to remember these formulas for these shapes, you might want to write these down in the inside cover of your spiral or on your notes somewhere. And they're usually found in your book. You can find them online. But it's very handy to have them very close by so you can just turn to them very quickly like the inside cover of your book. And these are what those letters stand for. Okay? You should be sort of familiar with them by now. Okay? And then, of course, pi is a approximately 3.14 or 22 sevenths as a fraction. So let's do this one. We're going to find the area of the entire rectangle. We're going to look at this as, it's, as if it's an entire rectangle. And then we're going to subtract these semicircles. Because we have one, two semicircles, if we put them together, we have one entire circle. So we're going to do the area of this entire rectangle and subtract the area of a circle. Okay? So we know that we've got a length and width here. We've got 20 and 11. When we multiply them, we get 220. So that's the area as if this was all filled in. We can also see that the radius is 5 units. Okay? So we're saying that 1 square is a centimeter. Alright? So the radius is 5 centimeters. So to find the area of a rectangle, we did length times width. To find the area of a circle, we do pi r squared. So we need to multiply pi times 5 squared and subtract it from the 220. So 5 squared is 25. We multiply that by the 3.14. We get 78.5. We subtract it from that big rectangle, as if the circles were filled in and we get 141.5 centimeters squared. And then that's the area of the blue section. See? So we just started with the big rectangle and subtracted the area of a circle. So we still had to figure out the area of a circle so we could subtract it. Now let's take a look at this one. If we break this apart into two shapes, we see that we have a circle and we have a triangle, and the circle is missing a fourth, isn't it? So this is three-fourths of a circle. So we're going to find the area of the entire circle and then multiply it by 3 fourths to find out what this area is here. That'll help us remove that 1 fourth. Then we're going to find the area of this triangle and then we're going to total the two areas. Area of a circle is pi r squared. We saw that from this one. We're going to multiply that times 3 fourths to get this area of this circle because it's not a complete circle, is it? So we're going to find the area, multiply it by 3 fourths, so we count the units. So now we're going to say that each square is a square inch. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 for our radius here, don't we? That's our radius. We could have counted here also, because that's 6. So we're going to do pi r squared, that's 6 squared, that's 36. We need to multiply it to pi, and we need to multiply it by 3 fourths. We can turn the 3 fourths into 0.75. We multiply these two together and get 113.04. We multiply it by the 0.75, and we get 84.78 inches squared. That's for the 3 fourths circle right here. Now we have to do this rectangle, I mean the triangle. The triangle is 
the area is half base times height. So we need to figure out its base and its height. So we count the base, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and the height is 6. So we're going to do half 10 times 6. Well, 10 times 6 is 60, and half of 60 is 30. So we know it's 30 inches squared for the triangle. We add that to the 3 fourths circle, and we get 114.78 inches squared for the whole area. So by breaking it apart into two separate areas, we can figure them out separately, and then just add them together. So if you come across a composite figure, think of this as a rectangle and a semicircle. So if you saw this and you didn't know how to find the area of it, you know that you could do the semicircle and a rectangle. You could do a semicircle and a triangle. You could do three triangles and a square. See? So just figure out where you can break it apart and split it into two or three or four different shapes that you can find the area and then add those totals when you're done. Okay? All right. There's going to be links in this description to help you with similar videos, and I'll see you next video. Bye.